Welcome to Coastal Safety. Today we're going to look at the marine weather forecast, the weather terms that are used and the format that's used. The forecast is going to be issued by the Met Office in the UK, for example, and it contains information that we need to know. We need to know about the wind, we need to know about the sea state, we need to know about the weather, and we need to know about the visibility we can expect. So in the UK, the weather forecast is issued four times a day at 2300 hours, 0500, 1100 and 1700 UTC, covering a period of 24 hours from time of issue. Here's an example, the wind. The wind is expected to come from the north, force 5 to 6, becoming northeast 7, imminent. Imminent means within 6 hours and perhaps gale force 8 later. Later means after 12 hours. The sea state, the sea state is expected to be moderate, becoming rough later. Again, later means more than 12 hours from time of issue. And the weather, they tell us about what we should expect the weather. The weather, we're talking about rain, showers, sunny periods. The visibility, in this example, it's expected to be poor, becoming moderate, or good later. Again, later means more than 12 hours. The forecast times and the availability. In the UK, the BBC is every six hours, the Coast Guard operate, uh, broadcasts every three hours, and the local forecast, it depends on the radio station or your source. So the sources you can expect is the local radio or VHF, marina office often give the weather forecast, and of course you've got internet and the various apps. So let's talk about the time that's used or the expected time that's used. You can think of this as a traffic light. The one we're really interested about right now is imminent. That's within six hours. So whatever they talk about imminent, we expect that weather to be coming within six hours. Soon, this is six to 12 hours, six to 12 hours from the time of issue and later, that's after 12 hours. Imminent, soon and later. Six hours, six to 12, and more than 12. Now let's talk about the wind direction. We talk about the wind direction as coming from. So a west wind is coming from the west. And here's a little compass. You can see the west wind is coming from the west and heading to the east. Another example, the east wind is coming from the east and heading to the west. And a northeast wind is coming from the north northeast and heading to the southwest. So we talk about wind, where it's coming from, because that's the weather it's going to bring. How do we talk about the wind speed? We measure in nautical miles per hour. As you know, nautical miles per hour, we talk about that as knots. We can also talk about uh, the wind speed is a Beaufort force. For example, Beaufort force zero is calm. Beaufort force eight is a gale. And Beaufort force 12 is a hurricane force wind. So here's an example of the various 12 states, 1 to 3, nice sailing, 4 to 5 and 6, a little bit more exciting sailing, 6, you should probably think about coming home, 7, 8 and 9, you don't really want to be sailing in that, that's very hairy stuff, and certainly in 12, 11, round here, you don't want to be out at sea. So here's a, a table, this is the official table. There's lots of numbers to remember, but we try and break this down so it's easier to remember what wind speed you'd expect. So look at your left hand, number your fingers and thumbs one through to five, and you can expect one knot, five knots, 10 knots, 15 knots, and 20 knots of wind. This is all good sailing weather. Now looking at the right hand, number the fingers and thumbs six through to 10, so that's 1 to 10 altogether, and we'd expect 25 knots, 30 knots. The last three are 35, 45, and 55. So roughly in your mind, you th can think of each advance is about 5 knots, apart from the last three, which is 10 knots. So here we are, just go through it again. We number our fingers and thumbs 1 through to 10. If you can visualize this, it's helpful. And then we remember these numbers, one, five, 10, 
15, 20, 25, 30, and the last three, 35, 45, and 55. This is how I remember it. It's not exactly accurate, but it's close enough, and it's an easy way to remember. Stop the video if you like, and just remember these numbers in your head. It'll make life easier later on. Sometimes the wind will change direction, and we have two terms for this. We can say when the wind is changing anti-clockwise, we call it backing, or back against the clock. And when the wind is changing direction clockwise, we call this veering. Just two, two terms that we use for the wind direction change. Now let's talk about gale warnings. The gale warnings are issued immediately on receipt and then at each normal scheduled weather forecast time. The sea state, this is how high we expect the waves to be. Again, there's lots of numbers. Just remember the traffic lights again, green, yellow and red. One and a quarter, two and a half to four and more than four. So let's go to those in slightly more detail. If the wave height is expected to be less than one and a quarter meters, we call it smooth or slight. When it's more than one and a quarter meters, we call this a moderate sea. When it's more than two and a half meters, we call it a rough sea. When it's more than four meters wave heights, we call this very rough. And for the last one, more than six meters, again, you don't really want to be out at sea. So here's a, a picture to show you the various sea states, what, what kind of waves you would expect for each one. We'll go to those in details. Both, both at force zero, nice, calm and glassy like a mirror. Both at force one, little ripples and the waves starting to show. Both at force two, the waves are now showing. Both at force three, you've got defined waves there. Both at force four, this is an interesting one. You get little white tops on the waves called white horses. Both, for, both at force five, bigger white horses. Both at force six, this is a small boat gale. You don't want to be out at sea, head back for home. Look at force seven and eight. Force eight is the gale force, big waves, lots of white all over those uh, beautiful blue waves. When we come up to both at force 10, we call this storm force. You can see big waves, lots of spray, lots of white all over the place. And both at force 12, again, we don't want to be out at sea for this. The weather, this is talking about the kind of pre precipitation or the water coming from the sky. If they talk about fair, that means that there's no precipitation expected. If they talk about showers, rain or heavy rain, we've got water coming out of the sky. And when it gets very cold, then we talk about snow or hail coming out of the sky. These are the terms that they use in the weather forecast. Now we'll talk about visibility. It's not always easy to work out the visibility at distance, but we talk about very poor is less than a thousand meters or half a mile. We talk about poor visibility is half a mile to two nautical miles. We talk about moderate visibility is two to five nautical miles and good visibility is more than five nautical miles. These are my simple numbers I remember. Half a mile, half a mile to two, two to five miles and more than five miles. These are the terms that are used in the standard forecast. So here's the key points to remember. Think of the traffic light. Imminent, it's going to be within six hours. Soon, six to 12 hours. And later, more than 12 hours. Remember we name the wind from. So the direction the wind is coming from. For example, a west wind is coming from the west. And the wind speed is measured in nautical miles per hour or knots. Beaufort force is, Beaufort force zero is calm. Beaufort force eight is gale. And Beaufort force 12 is a hurricane. 